that I could see. And I'm so thankful that we have a God who hears the very whisper of his name. Maybe you feel like you've been thrown into a ditch lately. Maybe your ditch doesn't seem as solid as the one we were driving in. Maybe you're saying, God, do you even see what's happening in my life? And God, do you even care what's going on? Well, I'm here tonight to assure you that he does see you and he does care what's happening. And I want to confirm to you that he is willing to help. See, we're safe in the palm of his hand as we put our faith and trust in him. It's a choice that we make to say, God, I will trust you even though I don't understand.
it was never our intention to have a family band. Debbie and I got married, she became part of our group. The group had started three, four years ago with my three sisters and myself. And uh, of course she became part of the group when we got married. Then we began to have children and they would sit in the front row night after night after night and have to hear us sing. And uh, they still love music, it was pretty amazing. So I wrote this song, it's our story song called Congregation.
translation of that while sort of literal. Um, we couldn't really sing the English version because it didn't really go with music, but um, it means I have a friend who loves me and his name is Jesus. Yes. Well, we're going to have them do one more song for you. Uh, when we were in Juarez, we got to go around to a lot of the homes, and uh, Christina and I were in the Dominican Republic with the amazing Ministry of Compassion. And we uh, saw firsthand there the poverty that a lot of the world lives in. But the rest of our family had never witnessed anything like that. And so going down to Juarez, our eyes, the rest of our family and our eyes were opened. And uh, the world, most of the world lives completely different than we live. And we are incredibly blessed here in Canada. And so we as a family want to make a difference with our lives. And so that's why we're involved with the uh, Ministry of Compassion. And we want to be good soil. The Word of God speaks of four kinds of soil, but only one of them is called good soil. And that's the kind of soil that we want to be. That the Word of God can come into our lives and we can make an amazing difference in this world. We get down into that Arizona area in February, and that sand that grows absolutely nothing, when you put good seed, a lot of fertilizer, a pile of water, and let that beautiful sunshine shine down, in January and February, there's amazing vegetable fields that come into our supermarkets from down in that Arizona area. That sand that grows nothing produces incredible fields of vegetables. Why? Because that soil, that sand, the seed, the water, the sunshine, and the fertilizer produces amazing crops. And so in our lives, as we allow the Word of God to come into our lives, we walk in obedience to the Lord, we can make an amazing difference. And so we wrote a song for the kids called Good Soil.
just turned 12 years old. She thought I was gonna forget. This is uh, Octavia, who's nine. And this is Emerson, who's six. And then is Alethia, who's four years old. So, uh, Well, my mom was the most musical of our family, and she was the very first person I ever knew to make a mixtape. That is where you take all your favorite music and you put it back to back on one CD or cassette. And uh, my mom, however, would only like the verse and the chorus of a song, or maybe she might only like half a verse of a song. And so we'd start driving down the road and we'd pop that cassette in the cassette player and we'd start getting into that very first song and suddenly would switch to a different song. Then we'd start getting into that song and without warning we'd switch to another song. It was so annoying. But we thought we'd take you on a drive and show you what that was like. Oh 